In the heart of Bel Air, Michigan, there's a distiller right down the street from a brewery. For the alcohol connoisseur, it's like happening upon a thirst-quenching heaven. At Mammoth Distilling, you'll find a bevy of barrels, an esteemed collection of casks, and a spate of spirits. In other words, this ain't moonshine. We are doing a, a 12 year rye that's 117 proof, but uh, no, uh, definitely not moonshine. Mammoth liquors hewn from the glacial lakes and hills of northern Michigan, reflecting the local, ancient character of the ingredients used in every batch. It was really important to us as a company to, to not only produce spirits, uh, but to do it locally. So, you know, to use as many local ingredients as possible, to, to work with as many local companies as possible. And whether your palate's experienced or learning about fine liquors, Stuart Hickman helps convert novices into connoisseurs. A short bit down Bridge Street is Short's Brewery. It's Joe Short's baby, but they're long on lagers and every kind of craft beer. About 20 on tap, plus up to 20 varieties in bottle or can. Just 22 when he started this joint, Joe had a bold vision of brewing flavorful, extremely creative beers, bringing visitors from far and wide to this beautiful town to taste them. When the taps are tipped, a variety of taste sensations pour from too many offerings to list. We've always called it a, uh, a brew pub with a gourmet deli, um, and, and the deli has since transformed into a, uh, a pretty substantial kitchen and food factory. And we make a lot of great food, and uh, we make great beer, cider, and seltzer. Pick yourself a massive homemade pretzel, savor a well-stacked sandwich, or place yourself in front of a freshly made pizza. And Saturdays at 2, they'll take you on a tour of the Bel Air Brewing facilities because they just love beer and Bel Air. They're betting you will too.